Hi friends and welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY for another fun-filled video. But before we get to it, I just want to welcome you if you're new here. My name is Brenda. This is my sweet Oliver. And if you're returning, you guys are appreciated so much. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I took three of these wood boards from Dollar Tree. I lay them side by side and I'm using my giant craft sticks from Walmart and I'm using wood glue in the middle and hot glue along each side and I'm just going to glue them to the back of those three so that way they will be joined together. Now if you don't like seeing these things on the back, you can always cover them with shipping paper. Um, I don't really mind it. So <laughs> after I had that done, I took my spackling here and I'm just going to fill in all of those hanger holes. And then I'm going to paint both the front and the back with Waverly chalk paint and the color plaster. Once it was dry, I took this beautiful rub on transfer from Essential Stencils. Now this is not a paid promotion. I just absolutely love their transfers. And when I saw this, purple is my favorite color, and when I saw this transfer, I knew I had to get it. It comes with this one and a pink one that's really pretty too. So after I had it laid right where I wanted it, I am just going to use my little plastic stick here for rub, and it's, it is for using on rub-on transfers. And I am just gonna go all over this truck. I'm just rubbing, rubbing, rubbing until I get all the way down to the bottom. Once I got to the bottom, then I will start pulling up that top protective piece. Now I pull it up really slowly because I'm watching as I'm pulling and if I see any uh, of that transfer coming up, I'll lay it back down and rub it again just to make sure um, that it's on there nice and snugly. <laughs> I guess you could say. I don't even know if I said that word right. But anyways, I'm just going to continue to rub and pull and rub and pull until I can lift that top piece completely off without pulling off any of the transfer. Then after that, I took, this is a half inch dowel and they're 36 inches long. I got the both of those from Hobby Lobby. I took them out and cut them with my miter saw. And then I am going to take my antique wax and brush it on and wipe it off the excess off with a paper towel. Now on two of the pieces, I went over all four sides and then I started thinking, wait a minute, I'm going to be gluing one side to the sign. So why am I putting wax on it? So on the this piece, I only did the three sides and then the ends. And um, that's what I would recommend as well. So then I took my um, wood glue here and some hot glue. And I'm going to glue this to the top because I'm making a frame with these dowels. So after I had that one, I did the bottom and then I am doing the sides, doing the same thing with my wood glue and hot glue and just going to put them right in place. I love this. I love this antique wax. It just goes so well with the back of that truck. Anyways, then I was like, what else do I want to do? I didn't want to do too much to this because I just love that transfer. So I took some lavender from Walmart and I'm just going to use some twine here and I'm going to uh, tie it around the two pieces of lavender there. And then I'm going to just wrap it completely until I'm um, at the end of my twine. And then I will tie those two pieces together or those two ends, I should say and then trim it off. Now the reason why I am doing this is because I wanted a bigger, nicer, um, more solid item to hot glue to my sign. And I just thought connecting it with the twine would be the best way to do that. So I'm just, I glued it to my sign and then I took some of these sunflowers. These came from Hobby Lobby. I got them last fall. And I'm just going to glue three of them in to cover up where that twine is and I just thought it was perfect because that picture has some flowers and lavender in it and I love it and so there it is and then I just turned it over and I'm measuring to see where the center point is I took this sawtooth hanger that I had in my stash and I'm just going to hammer it right in and that's all there is for this one I think it is just 
beautiful. I, oh my goodness, I love it so much. <laughs> uh, you'll have to let me know what you think about this in the comment box, box below. Okay, I always like to take this moment to thank my subscribers because you guys are amazing and I appreciate you so much. And if you're new here and enjoy today's video and you like home decor on a budget, I invite you to hit that red subscribe button and become part of our YouTube family. And then make sure you guys give me that thumbs up and comment and watch those ads. That really does help support my channel. And then if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find the links to those accounts in my description box as well. Okay, here's DIY number two. So for this DIY, I'm going to take one of these MDF eggs from Dollar Tree and I'm using my heat gun and Cricut spatula to remove that metal uh, bunny that's on the front. And I do save those for future projects. I think I have some ideas for them. Um, just a matter of whether or not I do them. <laughs> And then after I had this, I just started pulling off that paper. This paper came off really pretty easy. I love it when it comes off in the big chunks like that. But once I had all the paper removed, then I just spritzed it all down with some water and I put a good layer over it. And normally I let it sit for about five minutes. I don't think I waited that long because it didn't come off as easily as it normally does if you wait five minutes, but that's okay. I got it all off. I'm just using my paint scraper here and I'm just pushing all that excess paper and glue right off. You can use Goo Gone afterwards. I didn't really need it on this one. It just pulled it pretty much off. Now, I originally was going to paint just the back and the sides of this sign with my plaster, but because I had one idea of what I was going to do, but then I changed my mind and I decided to go a different route. So I painted the whole thing with my plaster. After that, I took some of this paper. Now I got this paper a couple of years ago from a booklet from Michaels. And, but if you want to recreate this, you know, you could always use any kind of paper that you have that matches your decor or your taste. But once I had it all traced out, then I'm just going to cut it all out. And after I have this all cut out, I am going to add some Mod Podge all over the bottom part of my egg. And I'm just going to brush it all over, make sure there's a nice even coat all over the bottom part of that egg. And then I set it aside to dry. And while it was drying, I took this egg. This is another egg from Dollar Tree. And I got this last year. And I'm using my heat gun and I'm using my paint scraper trying to remove that bunny. It was not wanting to move. It was really on there. Um, so I'm trying everything I can and I do finally get it off, but it just, I got it off in pieces. Let's just put it that way. It wasn't coming off easily, but I kept working at it and I was able to get it off. And um, the only thing is once I got this bottom piece off, it did leave a little bit um, on the bottom so I did kind of pick at it and got it down enough to where I could sand it down then I painted both front and back with my plaster color by Waverly and once that was dry or I should say as it was drying I put my paper on the big egg and I laid some parchment paper over that and used my heat press to reactivate that Mod Podge so that that paper sticks and now if you don't have a heat press you can use an iron without the steam on and so once I have this done, I am going to cover it again with Mod Podge. And you want to make sure you don't put too much on. I had too much Mod Podge on there and it did bubble up on me. So once it dried, I had to go over it again with my heat press. Then I went through with my little finger sander and I sanded off all that extra paper. And then I took this adorable bunny transfer. This again is a... Um, essential stencil transfers. I love this bunny. It is just adorable. I did a DIY a couple weeks ago with another one of these bunnies. Uh, I'll try and link that in my description box. If you haven't seen it, you could see it. It was adorable. I loved it. But anyways, I'm just going to rub this on and then um, removed the top layer just like I did with the big truck. And once I have that removed, then I uh, took the big egg here and I took some lace. This came from Hobby Lobby. It was in my stash. And I'm just going to glue it to, or glue the ends to the back of my egg. And then after I had that glued on, I'm going to take some of this. Um, this is a new, like, ribbon. It's got flowers. I got it from Hobby Lobby. 
it was 40% off of the $5.99 and I'm going to glue this right in the middle. Now this paper is it's kind of purple, but it's got more of a mauve tone to it, but yet the flowers are pink. So um, I thought this would work and it actually looks real. I think it looks really good with it. But anyways, I am going to do the same thing with this lace, but I'm going along the sides of this egg because um, I'm using the back side of the egg for the front because of the little issue in the back. <laughs> that was the front. <laughs> I hope I haven't confused you. But on the back side, it had a little bit of a flaw on the wood. So that's why I decided to do it this way uh, with the uh, lace on the sides. But I just think it's really cute. I think it gives it a, a whole different look. It's not something you would normally see. And I just love how it came out. But anyways, once I had that all done, I thought, okay, I want to add some of this paper to the edge. So I just stuck it in behind that lace and then I traced it and I'm going to cut it out. I did this for both sides. And then after I have it traced out or cut out, I am going to, I'm just fitting it in there just to make sure it's going to fit. I'm going to take my school glue here and I'm just going to rub this on my egg. Now, I don't know why I didn't just rub this on the paper. That would have been easier, but I always like to make things harder on myself. <laughs> That's always the case for and anything I do. It always seems to be the case. But anyways, I'm just going to glue my paper in place. I do that on both sides. Then I went back to the big egg and I'm taking this ribbon from Dollar Tree. I made the awareness ribbon sign and then scrunched it up in the middle using some jute twine to twy it. Twy it. I'm going to twy it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I thought I thought putty tat. Anyways, okay. <laughs> enough of that. I tied a knot and now I'm going to dovetail the ends by folding in half and um, cutting it. And then I'm going to, and cutting it at an angle. Then I glued that on. I got these paper flowers from Hobby Lobby uh, a year or so ago and I'm just going to glue one to the front of that bow and then I'm going to glue one on both eggs at the top to cover those holes for the hangers. Then I'm going to use a tumbling tower block here. I used hot I used wood glue and hot glue and tight and glued it onto the egg and then added some more hot glue and wood glue to the top of it to attach both of those eggs together. Then I'm going to take wood glue and hot glue and I'm going to take, these are the big blocks from Five Below. I took four of them, painted them with plaster and then I'm using the hot glue and the wood glue to glue them on the back as a stand. And there it is. Isn't that adorable? Oh my goodness. I just love it. Oh, just beautiful. You have to let me know what you think about this one as well. Okay, it is a time for a celebration of your recreation. And this is from Kathy. Oh, it is adorable. Thank you so much. I love that little mushroom with the ladybug. And then Renee, your cat is so cute and your flower is really cute too. Thank you so much. And then I wanted to brag about my daughter-in-law. Look at these wreaths she has been making. I love them. Ah, uh, great job, Christina. Okay. If you have a creation or recreation that you would like me to showcase, you can send pictures to my email address that's listed there, or you can send them to me through Instagram or Facebook messenger. Okay. Here is DIY number three. So for this DIY, I'm going to use this transfer from Chalk Couture. It's called Cowgirl Boot. And this is uh, February's Club Couture um, exclusive transfer. And if you are unfamiliar with Chalk Couture, this is an adhesive silk screen transfer that we use chalk paste on. And this transfer is, um, like I said, part of the monthly subscription. So if you subscribe to that, then you will get an exclusive 8x11 transfer every month. And it comes with three coordinating chalk paste. This also came with this little boot chalkable. And so I wanted to use it so that you could see what February's is like in case you like this and would like to join up. It is $21.99 a month. And um, you and you do have to subscribe for at least three months before you cancel. So I always suggest if you are interested in trying Chalk Couture to you, try the, through the club, I think it's a great way to just kind of figure it out and see if you like it. Now, after I had that fuzzed and after that was dried, I should say, I fuzzed another piece 
and I'm going to go over this with, um, I think it's called Shimmer Violet, and the other darker purple that I used was called Duchess. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Now, after you use these transfers, you do want to wash them in cold water. The back of the package usually has the instructions on how to wash them. Try to avoid washing the side that is adhesive, although I usually use a little sponge and just kind of go over the adhesive side, just the, um, the silk screen part. But that just will help save that adhesiveness on it. So after those were dry, I took some more tumbling tower blocks and I'm just going to hot glue them to this sign from Dollar Tree. Then I'm going to use my wood glue and hot glue here and add another one. <laughs> this, is how I tr uh, this is how I added them to the sign. I had that little uh, Scrabble tile there so I knew where I wanted to lay it. And then I'm going to add the wood glue and hot glue to the top of them and place my boot right on top of it. Then I took these flowers from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to glue them in behind my boot. And I'm going to use that little makeup spatula thing that I got from Dollar Tree to just kind of push it in and make sure it's in there. And then I'm going to just do the same thing with this one as well. And after I have that in there, then I'm going to take some Scrabble tiles. I spelt out Howdy Spring, and I'm just going to glue them in place with my hot glue. Now, if you can get these, sometimes you can find them at Dollar Tree. Um, Walmart sometimes has them. I've seen them there. I would imagine Hobby Lobby has them. I'm not positive, but I got these from Amazon. They came in a huge package, and so I have a lot of them, and they're not very expensive at all. So... Um, There's some places if you're looking for these, but if you don't have these, you could use stickers. You could use a Cricut if you had them. Um, you could even write it. So anyways, once I had those on there, I just took this ribbon from Dollar Tree and making the awareness ribbon and scrunching it up. But instead of using twine to hold it in place, I'm just going to use a little dab of hot glue. I didn't want to have the twine on there because this is such a thin ribbon. So I thought I'm just going to hot glue it in place and see how that works. And I think it worked pretty well. So after that, I am going to glue it, hot glue it to the top of my sign. And then I'm just going to cut the, the ends at an angle because it's such thin ribbon. It's kind of hard to do the dovetail. So I just cut it at an angle. And there it is. I think it's really cute. You have to let me know what you think about it. And if you're interested at all in Chalk Couture, you can check out my page. I have the link in the description box. Or you can email me with any questions. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Okay, here's DIY number four. So for this DIY, I'm going to take four of these, no, six of these blocks from Dollar Tree. There's two packages of three. So I'm going to brush the antique wax on all of them. And then I'm going to wipe off the excess. After that, I'm going to move my fingers and I'm going to brush where my fingers are and then wipe that off. And yes, I my fingers got very messy doing this. But <laughs> uh, once I had it all done and had each one of those covered with my wax, I am going to take some two inch letters. These wood letters come from Hobby Lobby. It's a pack of, I think there's like four of each letter in the pack. And I'm just going to paint them all with my Waverly um, chalk paint in the color lavender. And of course, I'm, I'm spelling out the word spring. And so once I had them all painted and they were dry, I'm taking my Type Bond Quick and Thick Multi-Purpose Glue and Hot Glue. And I'm going to glue them on to the front of my little blocks here. And I am going to show you, I'm going to do another one for you because I guess I felt like you needed to see me do all this gluing because, you know, I'm sure you don't know how to glue. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, anyways, okay. <laughs> then watch what I do, you guys. I took uh, hot, wood glue and hot glue and I glued my S&P together and look. <laughs> After I had it together, I'm like, oh man, I... I couldn't believe I did that. So I am going to clean this off. Now, I thought I cut this out, and apparently I did not. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to take a baby wipe, and I'm going to wipe off all that wood glue, and I'm going to pick at the hot glue and get as much of it picked off as possible. This is how you fix mistakes. 
<laughs> I can't believe I could have sworn I cut this out. I am so sorry. But since I didn't, we're just going to sit here and watch me pick at my glue. And then we're all going to laugh. I hope you're getting a good laugh out of this because that's all we can do at this point. <laughs> So I'm going to add more wood glue and hot glue, and I'm going to glue these together the right way. Yay, I did it. <laughs> and then I'm just going to do that to each block until we get to the very end, and we have them spelling out the word spring. Then I took some of this uh, wired jute from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to make bunny ears. So I'm just kind of folding the two ends into each other like you see kind of trying to get them to be around the same size and same shape. Once I had them like I liked them, I took the ends and I just kind of wrapped it together a couple of times. And then after I had it wrapped, I am going to cut off that excess um, wire and then just kind of finish wrapping it. And then I'm going to glue it, hot glue it to the back of my blocks just like you see right there. And I'm just going to stick that middle part right there. And then I just went and did a little dab behind each ear where it was laying behind the, the blocks. I took one of these smaller wood planks from Dollar Tree and I went over it with my antique wax. Once it was dry, I took this floral foam and I went over it with some hot glue and glued it to my little wood piece. And I'm going to glue my spring blocks to the top of this floral foam. I'm going to add a little glue to the top and then I'm going to add some moss along the top of it and try not to add too much because I didn't want to cover up the word. Then I just start filling that floral foam with different flowers. I really, I used flowers from Dollar Tree. Um, I think they're called greenery. Uh, there's really no name for them other than I think it's just greenery. And then I use also some of the lavender from Walmart. And I'm just going to go all the way around the front and the sides and the back and just cover up all that floral foam. And that's all there was for that. Look how adorable that is. I love it. I think it's so cute. You have to let me know what you think about this one as well. And the final reveal is coming right up. I and hope you enjoyed today's video. And again, if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button before you go. And guys, make sure you give me that thumbs up and comment. I truly appreciate it. I will be back on Sunday with the What Would You Make Challenge. So have those notification bells set. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And with all that being said, I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.